Well, with each ASWE meeting, there's a lot of new and exciting changes, and one of them is the election of a new president. So with that in mind, we want to welcome the new uh, president-elect of ASWE. This is Grant Crawford. Thank you for joining us today. All right. Happy to be here, Joe. Well, I can't help but notice one thing. You're wearing right now a retired U.S. Army pin. Uh, yes. Because before you were in academia, you were in the U.S. Army. That Can you talk true. to us about that experience and how it has influenced your career in academia? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's had a tremendous impact. It was, uh, and if you go to the, the Tuesday plenary tomorrow, I'll talk a little bit about that. But that was my pathway into engineering was through the U.S. Army, uh, specifically uh, through West Point. And so, yeah, just getting in and getting that initial degree through West Point uh, opened doors for me that uh, I, I would have never had opened. And now you're working with the engineers of tomorrow. And I found this interesting. You took a group of students on a trip through Europe. You went to Italy, Switzerland, Germany, I understand. Yes. And not just to study engineering, but also art and experience the culture. Why do you think an experience like that is important for young engineers? Of course, there's all types of uh, semester abroad programs. And I wanted to have a very unique two week summer opportunity for our students where we could go and as you said, we're going to look at art, we're going to look at engineering, we're going to experience some of the culture, but I want the students to get to a point where they don't see those as three separate things, but things that are really integrated and tied together. And so we look at a piece of art, say, in, in a classic that we looked at when we were in Florence, is Michelangelo's Statue of David. And you look at that, but then you start to notice some things, and but why is there a tree trunk down by his leg? Well, you need some support, you need some strength, and there's some engineering that goes into that piece of art. Uh, and of course, experiencing the culture and, and how the art is integrated into the society, or the engineering is integrated into those different uh, cultures in various ways. Uh, of course, you get to somewhere like Florence, and, and the art is everywhere. It's in the architecture. Uh, you can't just build a tower, you have to build an ornate tower, right? Um, but to see that and appreciate it and see it firsthand, sure, we get up into Germany, we go to Munich, uh, end up in Munich at the Deutsches Technical Museum, and they can see uh, the largest technical museum in the world, just all types of uh, history of innovation and engineering examples. But something we also do in Germany that I think is equally important is we take a, a day and we go to Dachau concentration camp. And they can see a very nefarious use of engineering. And we have those types of discussions uh, because we want to produce engineers that are going to be good for society and good for the planet. So uh, it, it's a very, I think, powerful trip. And the students all come back, uh, I think, transformed from that experience. Building off that last comment you made, you've talked about and written about global engineers. Uh, what does that term mean? And is that going to be a focus for you going forward? So I think it's, uh, and, and I think, if you, you probably can't look it up and find one single definition. So when I think of a global engineer, I think of an engineer with a mindset, not just in their local community, but understanding what they do and how it can impact or have impact much further and outside of just that local geographic area. Uh, the solutions we design, we gotta have to be careful, right? Because we extract, you know, I, I wanna extract materials for this. Well, there's some mining that's going on over here and is that really the best material to use is that, that, you know, what's the impact that my design decisions can have on a broader geographic area. So being cognizant of that, I think is more and more important as we realize, uh, and again, if, if you're in the plenary on Tuesday, we realize that we are living on a planet that is filling up, right? The population is growing and, and there's a limit. There's a limit based on how we do things now as to what this planet can sustain. And if we don't innovate and change how we do things, then we're in trouble. But I'm not a pessimist, I'm an optimist. I, I know these students, this generation will figure out those challenges uh, and will transform how we live so that we can continue to thrive, that the planet can thrive, that the, the plants, the animals, the sea creatures uh, can thrive on this planet. Well, on that optimistic note, I'll thank you for your time. Grant Crawford, thank you so much. Okay, thanks, Joe.